guys, Rick Hogg with Four Hog Tactical. As you can see, it's out here raining. That's all right. You guys got to get out. You've got to get out and train. Nobody's shooting at me. I've got a safe point here. I'm going to sneak behind the vehicle. I'm going to conduct a quick tack mag change. Now, when we use the collar as the reference point, now you can see, hey, again, we talked about, there's my A. You know, another one that I've seen people do is they'll turn their light on and then they'll kind of put it underneath and they'll brace this hand on top. And does it work? Sure, it works. But, you know, for me, again, that's the same as me just shooting, you know, strong hand only. Do I really want to do that? Not if I don't have to. So we can look at our target downrange now after we've run through that multiple times and we can start to see if we're pushing anything away, usually that's that down and left, we know that we've manipulated that trigger pull. Here's the thing, a tap rack bang, all right, a plan A is not gonna work, all right? So I can come up and try that, it's not gonna work, so now I need to go to plan B. But this is something you need in your bag of tricks. The way I started is, right here about arm's length away, by all means, you can come up, push it away, and then seat it in the magazine well. If you need to and you're not 100% sure it's seated, come down, tap it with my knee. Now I'm gonna rack it, finger straight, muzzle away from my body. Anytime your vision is compromised and your ability to see iron sights and align them in a wide variety of conditions, that's where a red dot sight shines. This is a drill that I would do during the daytime. It works on movement, works on a lot of different fundamentals. A lot of information in this video. Sort your way through it. Make sure you guys are out there training. Get out in the weather, test your equipment, and be ready that God forbid you're ever in a deadly force encounter, you're ready to deal with it.